As a handwriting expert, I learned that significant character traits show up in all our behaviors. We write from left to right while moving up and down, and the ink trail left behind is a permanent record of our writing behavior. It reveals whether we wrote fast, slow, with or without intensity, moved forward with or without enthusiasm, hesitation, it shows organization, etc., etc. Although many personality type models exist, I find the Enneagram the most useful for my handwriting analysis purposes. Many have contributed to the Enneagram model, yet Don Riso and Russ Hudson created a very understandable model. For more detailed information, I refer you to the website of the Enneagram Institute, as well as the books written by Riso and Hudson called Personality Types and The Wisdom of the Enneagram. All good things come in threes or in triads. Our three basic needs are autonomy, security, and attention. We all want to stand on our own feet and make our own decisions. We all want food, shelter, and security, and we all want to be acknowledged for who we are. Our basic instincts provide us with triad 3, 6, and 9. Triad 3 is prone to attention-seeking, triad 6 to security-seeking, whereas triad 9 emphasizes their need for independence. The primary types are 3, 6, and 9, and they have their own secondary types adjacent to them. The 9's internalized version is 1, and its externalized version is 8. The same rule applies to the primary types 3 and 6. We use different strategies to get what we want which are dependent on our childhood experiences. Some have problems with the authority figure in the household and learn to adhere to strict rules through complacencies. Others have problems with the nurturing side of their upbringing and handle their life through assertive behaviors. And lastly, some have problems with both and their reaction is to withdraw and strategize, making them the withdrawns. This social style model, developed by Karen Horney, is aptly named the Hornevian Triad and is one of the two components in my quick test. We employ different strategies in how we deal with inner conflict. Some are highly emotionally reactive and put their foot in their mouth, while others seek to emotionally detach and rationalize issues, while lastly, others will seek assistance from others on a social and people-oriented basis. The coping model named the harmonic triad is the second model I use in the quick test to identify a type. Each type is influenced by the type next to it. The influence of the more dominant type is called its wing. For instance, I'm a five with a strong influence of type six, which makes six my wing. Furthermore, every type has nine development levels, ranging from healthy to unhealthy. In the healthy range, someone tends to know who they are and what they stand for. In the unhealthy range, they will cope less well with life and might become delusional and destructive. There are nine types with 18 wing possibilities. At the instinctual variance in the nine levels of development, and this totals to a model with at least 486 variations. And we haven't even looked at the dynamics of the model yet. For instance, the insecure 5 can develop into the self-assertive 8 during secure reactions. Or the insecure 5 can fall apart into a panic-stricken hysteric during severe stressful situations. Our preoccupation to seek one of our three basic instincts, like autonomy, security, and attention, reveals which instinct is most distorted to us. Someone preoccupied with safety and comfort is in self-preservation mode. 
they will scan a room and find out where and with whom they feel most safe and comfortable. Someone who is preoccupied with an attraction to the next intense experience, not necessarily sexual in nature, scans a room to find out who or what will be the most exciting experience for this moment, right here and right now. It's unfortunate it's called the sexual variant, and I rather refer to it as the thrill-seeking variant. And lastly, an individual who is focusing on who is doing what to whom while doing his best to be approved is preoccupied with the social hierarchy. Instinctual variants run through all types, and it is not a subtype, rather a preoccupation with the most distorted basic instinct. Understanding the Hornevian and Harmonic groups can quickly identify a personality type. For instance, someone who asserts themselves would be a 3, 7 or 8. An assertive who builds a foundation for an argument would be a competent 3. A reactive assertive would be an 8, whereas the bubbly social busy bee would be a 7. The next few slides provide samples using the Hornevian and Harmonic Quick Test. This test takes into consideration known past behaviors and how these behavioral choices match handwriting behaviors. The reformer seeks independence most often from an oppressive authority figure. Their lens of perspective is right versus wrong and their weakness is not seen in gray areas. They are competent and adhere to their own strict rules. Their problem areas are with anger and how to relate with others. This known one shows his pent-up anger through intense pressure and a resentment stroke. The correction in the L of the word field and the exaggerated lower zone reflect on his forceful adherence to his own strict rules. The distortions in the mid zone reflect on his difficulties with relating to others. Type 2 seeks attention by being good. Their lens of perspective is be good, be loved. A healthy two is altruistic, whereas an unhealthy two is self-deceptive and a coercive dominator. They manipulate by creating false needs in order to establish secret dependencies. Jerry Sandusky, a former Penn State football coach, is a classic example of a two who created such dependencies for personal needs. His handwriting shows a larger social and attention-grabbing midzone as well as clarity in his signature. Type 3s are assertive, competent and image oriented. They have a strong need for attention, expect praise even when not earned. They are out of touch with their feelings. And like an octopus changing colors, 3s will readily say anything to appease the perceived needs of others. Donald Trump is a typical 3. His hair is image-oriented. He is aggressive, competent, and continued his birther lies for years. Trump's handwriting shows his assertiveness in size and thickness of the ink trail. The club strokes reveal his forceful ways, and the slashes inside the O's are consistent with his deceptive tendencies. Type 4 is the artist. Their lens of perspective is an unhappy childhood in which they did not feel noticed. They develop strong introspection in order to find out what's wrong with them. They are emotionally aware and emotionally honest. As an introvert who needs to be noticed, one outlet can be the arts. Their dress code varies from conventional to bizarre, yet they are always unique. Steven Tyler, for example, is completely comfortable being dressed in bizarre over-the-top styles. His signature shows fluidity and an imaginative upper zone with oversized capitals potentially as an overcompensation for the lower self-esteem. Tyler frequently put his foot in his mouth as a judge on American Idol. Type 5 is the investigator. They are competent and withdrawn. They acquire knowledge to feel secure. Since research takes time, fives find infringing obligations very intrusive. A deteriorating five has no other needs than his time, time to think and to shed their worldly acquisitions. 
Ted Kaczynski, better known as the Unabomber, lived in a 10 by 12 cabin without electricity or running water during his bombing years. Kaczynski's smaller and vertical handwriting implies a withdrawn and detail-oriented individual. His 35,000 word manifesto shows his enormous concentration and willingness to succeed on one particular subject important to him. Sixes are in the complacent group because they are the most loyal to their friends, ideas and systems. They can be highly reactive and overzealously defend ideas and systems. Malcolm X certainly represented the Six well with his strong and idealistic views. His handwriting shows the forward reactive slant, the idealistic high upper zone, and the unexpected capital in harvest implies defiance whereas the X implies confrontation. Type 7's childhood experience is negative in the sense they did not feel nurtured. They learn to find security outside themselves by owning things. They are the intense social busy bees, constantly active in order to forget their misery and tend to be irresponsible. Ted Bundy was a deteriorated narcissistic 7. His handwriting has overly strong pressure, enlarged mid-zone structures and mostly fluid strokes revealing his intense and on-the-move attitude. He was a charismatic people person with irresponsible social skills. Type 8s seek autonomy through reactive assertiveness. They typically have problems with repression, anger and difficulty relating to others. They are generally overwhelming and obnoxious. Their extroverted domineering behaviors are a direct reflection of their lack of insight in the needs of others. Fidel Castro wrote President Roosevelt as a 14 year old showing his reactive and assertive ways early in life. His ability to deliver three hour animated speeches reveal his overwhelming ways. The peacekeeper seeks autonomy through passive neutrality, while they can aggressively defend their non-expressed stance. They tend to have problems with anger and relating to others. They are people-oriented and tend to withdraw during conflict. Their lens of perspective is to understand others, yet forget where they stand themselves. Norman Rockwell's paintings depicted everyday life, including subjects like Boy Scouts, poverty and racial integration. His handwritten apology letter shown here, in which the peacekeeper is coming out, shows a below average mid-zone with good organizational skills and a forward people-oriented slant. As a withdrawn type, painting must have been an excellent outlet.